This Alexa Flash Briefing is sponsored by Team Automotive Group. Hello everyone from WAFB Channel 9. I'm Matt Williams with those Friday headlines. Yes, the rumors are true. It's Friday. Welcome to it, everybody. A quick look outside. This is our Sky 9 camera. Actually, right on top of the tower. A little shaking going on up top, but unless you're on top of our tower, you don't have to worry about it. And if you are, uh, get down. This is a quick look outside the big bridge across the big river. We're going to get you a look at the forecast in a quick minute because uh, something to get through today and then a good looking weekend on the way. But want to get you in the know with what you're walking out into as far as the headlines. Uh, did you miss any of the State of the Union address last night. Eh, it's past my bedtime too, I get it. We have the full transcript waiting for you right here if you want to check it at your own uh, leisure. Also, the reaction from our Louisiana DC delegation, what folks were thinking about. Look, uh, still a lot of uh, headlines coming out of DC. We got budget issues to deal with, the budget battles. Uh, one of the deadlines today, another budget deadline coming up later this month. So a lot of conversation coming out of there. But if you want to catch up on the State of the Union, you can do that right here. Speaking of, lawmakers and your ability to put some there or take some away. It is early voting set to begin here in Louisiana. That's tomorrow, going to run for a week, excluding, of course, Sunday. So uh, 19th of March, if you're looking to vote absentee, if you're looking to go that route, 19th is going to be your deadline. And if you're not looking to vote early or absentee, then you're going to have one day after that. It is March 23rd, Election Day in Louisiana. Jump online. You can do it easy. See what's on your ballot. It is not just the presidential uh, race uh, for some parishes. Depending on where you are, you got stuff locally. So there you go. Now you know. All right, um, have you ever thought about being your own boss? I mean, come on, right? Who hasn't? Entrepreneurship over the last number of years has really kind of started to uh, kick into gear, depending on where you are in the country. A lot of folks looking to kind of jump into that world. Our Kelly Hubbard was live this morning talking about some of the experiences of those in South Louisiana who have uh, taken that path, kind of begun that journey. Some of the stuff that they're seeing, the challenges, resources out there, that kind of thing. If you want to read a bit more about it, maybe kickstart your potential, your career uh, as a entrepreneur. Check out this story. It's waiting for you. WAFB.com, your nine news app. Also, you know what? Look, it's Friday. Let's have some fun. Merry market time. I know you hear that and you're like, it's not the holidays. No, this is the spring version for the first time. And they've been doing merry market in the holidays. They're in the holidays for what? Like quarter century? 20, 25 years. This is the first one that they're going to be running in March. And so get yourself out there. It's going to be the same spot that you know so well, uh, Lamar Dixon Expo Center. So they got all the great, uh, the great location, huge out there. This is the time, this is the place, all the fun stuff. You can check out the, uh, what they have coming your way if you want to read the story, WAP.com and your 9 News app. But yeah, you don't have to wait until the holidays roll around. We got a lot of stuff coming our way. Get your stuff for Mother's Day. Get it, on, you know, get it taken care of. Merry Market. And my goodness, for the sports fans out there, Get ready. Big day today. We've got LSU women's basketball at the SEC tournament. Uh, their first game, they're taking on Auburn. That's obviously not here. That's on the road, but you can follow that one. A couple big things going on today, though, that you may want to be a part of in Baton Rouge. You've got gymnastics at the River Center, their podium challenge. You've got LSU baseball at home, uh, taking on Xavier of Ohio. You've got Southern up on the bluff, uh, baseball as well. They're going at it. So, look, there's so much to choose from. Oh, by the way, I would be remiss if I didn't mention the Pelicans on WBXH tonight at 6 o'clock. Opportunity out there if you wanted to uh, check that out. Also, if you want to check that out, I'm going to give you another look real quick. Hold on, wait for it. There you go. Um, still shaking the, the tower up top. A little windy, a little breezy up, but what you'll notice, traffic ain't bad on that big bridge. So we're going to take every bit of that. Could that change as this rolls into South Louisiana? Uh, you know, Jared Silverman was pointing out that over the last number of days, the severity of the rain has kind of pulled back a little bit for South Louisiana. So yeah, we could get some showers, but maybe not as severe as first thought. Keep that first alert weather app handy. It's the best tool you have. It'll follow you wherever you go in the best of ways, not a creepy way. This is the 10 day forecast. So you see the Saturday. Look at what happens on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, so good. Such a great weekend. Already looking advanced down the line. Uh, the rest of the 10 day forecast. I know your eyeballs is on your eyeballs. Your eyeballs is on. Uh, I, I word for a living. Your eyeballs are on the next weekend, uh, the St. Patty's Day parade. Hopefully that 40 percent gets to even less than that. But I tell you what, we'll, we'll deal with that when we get there. Get through today with a little bit of rain. Enjoy your weekend, South Louisiana. You've earned it. Sponsored by Team Automotive Group.